YouTube, what's going on today, man? It's your boy Justin Revs, and we're doing a little something different today. This is going to be a little bit of a tutorial episode on how to use head tracking. So, if you want to back up your truck using the mirrors, oh, switch over into high gear there, like this, dude, hands free. Like, I'm not using the mouse, I'm not using the look buttons, whatever you might have programmed. I'm not using an analog stick, I am just using my head to determine which way to look, dude. And it's very easy. It works pretty dang good. Um, I'm using a $10 webcam that I got from Amazon. And the software, the software, bro, is free. It's wonderful. Okay, so first things first, you're gonna click the link in the description. It's gonna take you to a GitHub that has OpenTrack. This software is called OpenTrack, works wonderful. Again, $10 webcam. You click on this one. This is the one that I used. I mean, whatever your system might be different. I don't know if you have 32 bit system, whatever. This worked for me Win 64 portable and um, you like just throw it on the desktop, unzip it. And then you get a file. Come in here. It, you know, you got to do this typical setup stuff. I clicked nothing on or off, like no options. I only clicked. I agree. And I clicked put an icon on the desktop. Those are the only things. But if you don't have that desktop desktop icon, you click this bad boy. Okay, we're good to go. And it's going to come up with this a little boy right here. Okay, we're going to I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see better. I think this isn't big enough, but we're going to zoom in. Okay, first things first, you're going to take the I don't even remember what the default is, dude. Um, But just set it to neural net tracker. Ooh. Um, Terminator vibes. Anyways, leave out. Uh, output and filter alone those are good and then we're going to go into options this one i only have two buttons programmed i have this b button right here and all the b button does right here for me is center my view in the game and center my view on the tracker okay sorry i shouldn't do that um and then the other one is on and off is just backspace um you use the toggle button not the start and stop okay okay um this one is kind of is kind of important for my purposes for what i want out of this i don't need uh anything moving on the x y or z axis we are worried about yaw pitch and roll that's the way that our heads move you can change these if they need to be inverted or whatever like in game watch um hold on let me just start it right now and then um there is like a little bit of a delay but um so i'm uh, it'd be easier if I just showed you, okay? Big face reveal. I'm a bald man. Um, so with the... My yaw is inverted. Um, but you can do this on the fly. So see how I'm looking that way and it's looking the opposite? Boom. That's why we need this these buttons. And you can tinker with them in the game, okay? Like, I think... Yeah, see? Backwards yaw. That's making me sick. Okay. So that's dialed. Worry about these like once you're in the game, okay? And then um, I didn't even touch anything on this one. Let me turn this off. And then uh, for this one, you're going to go in and find... B well, at first, you're going to hit plus down here, okay? And then you're going to come hit these dots. Find wherever your um, Steam library is that has the game that you want. Mine is here. We go in. We find BMNG. Come down here. We click this button, the EXE. And we're good to go. Tracker. This is where you're going to pick your camera. Um, I tried using OBS to get it to go through there, but did not work so well. So again, $10 webcam straight up. Like it didn't even have a picture of the webcam on the box, dude. It's a, it's a cheap one. Um, diagonal FOV. I don't know if I changed that or not, but I run with 56, whatever. <laughs> Excuse me, res resolution 640 by 480. You want it to be able to tell what your head is doing, but you don't need to be able to see all your freckles or whatever. I cranked it up all the way and it slowed down so much for me and I have a decent PC. Um, <coughs> and then frames per second, max it. Whatever your max little webcam. You could do this with a $10 webcam. I, I know you can do it with an expensive webcam. Like whatever you got, dude. I'm pretty sure you could do this with a phone too. I'm, don't quote me on that. Um, I just didn't feel like figuring out how to mount a, a phone to my this my TV here. So, um, and then filter, just crank this top one up here all the way up. Crank that smooth one all the way up. Okay, and okay. Next big thing, 
mapping this is another thing that you can do while you are uh in the game and this is very handy let's turn the tracker on and there is like i said a little bit of a delay so i came into the game and it was set to this like all the way and see like i'm having to like look i'm having to turn my head and look basically like three feet past the edge of my monitor to see out that one so what this does is it brings your your um just whatever inputs better it, it makes them work a little bit smoother so now i'm basically looking like where i would normally look like on the tv but i don't have to do anything dude isn't it wonderful uh max input 180 feel free to like pause dude like it, like jump around on this video it's it's a, kind of a weird one for me i have this set up for pitch because i i don't know it felt right to me um pitch 60 max output 90 and i have this set at 40 by 90 right here and roll i think is just how it is 180 by 180 up here i didn't touch this one just because it, it it works okay i'm not really too worried about the roll i wasn't even going to do it in the first place but um i think that's that's pretty much it dude i mean and then um yeah, like I said, I backspace to toggle it on and off. It turns off like right away. There is a little bit of a delay for turning it on. One, two, like less than two seconds of a, of a delay to get it to turn on. And then why I have that center button is because it does get a little confused sometimes. You know, keep, keep in mind this is $10 software or sorry, a $10 webcam with free software. Um, this is another place where it comes in handy, dude. Looking. You're not gonna get sideswiped by traffic anymore. Isn't that wonderful? It's just, it, it, it's a, it's a, a game changer, dude. Let's let's go off the road here. The tutorial's over, dude. Now I'm just kind of like showing showing what to do. If you have questions, I probably won't have answers. Um, not gonna lie. There are much better videos on this out there, uh, much more in-depth tutorials with folks who actually know what they are doing. I'm not one of those people. Folks were just asking me to make a video, like my, my subscribers, on how this runs. So, uh, dude, check it out. It's free. Um, the software is, if you have a, a webcam laying around from, you know, doing Zoom meetings or whatever, that, that thing will work perfect, bro. Let a rip tater chip. Like, it's, it's just... It's really nice to have mirrors that you you can, you know, use without needing a damn, uh, like a, a what's it called? Just like any, any sort of inputs from anything else. You, you know, if you can, if you can make one more thing hands free for your video game, dude, I think that's, that's winning. I, this, this ain't going to be perfect. I'm actually like, I can tell that I'm pointed away from the building a little bit. It does get weird when you're in, um. A different camera though like not gonna lie you you can kind of look around different though okay i'm gonna turn that off that's backspace but see dude i backed right in there without having to look around you know ain't that nice so i think that's all i got for this one i'm trying to keep it short and sweet and i've already gone about twice the uh, amount that i wanted this to be so have fun talk to you tomorrow i love you god loves you cooper loves you bye